Okay guys, I finally started making progress with my orange build, so let me show you some technical details on uh, decisions I made on the way. One of my biggest challenges with this build was uh, mounting this Admiral radiator. I only got dual rod for my setup, while I really would rather have triple, because I have three components in my build. So I decided to, so I will try to compensate with more powerful fans. This is 3000 RPM Sun Aces I have here, which I attach to this radiator. And the problem was to find actually proper size of screws to attach those uh, fans. And this M4 screws, and uh, I didn't get anything with the rod itself. So I have to scout for a while until I got screw long enough. As you see, this, I don't even know how many millimeters that, but this is long enough so I can go all the way through radiator and get into um, through, through the fence and attach it. Another thing that you need to keep in mind, um, rad is not available yet, but for the future reference, when you use uh, this 800D, 700D case, with this particular rod, the rod itself pretty thick and when you try to use 38 millimeter fans uh, clearance between memory and the fan it's almost nothing left I was barely able to fit everything and you should watch yourself um, uh, when you mount rod because you can accidentally damage something like break those clips that keep, keep uh, memory in place so when that part was on the way, um, the other problem that I have actually was other side because I use MNCP Tech custom grill and again the grill sits on the top of the case uh, so it's additional clearance between the radiator and, um, and my grill itself so I needed another custom size of screws, uh, this was 16 millimeter in this case in order to fit everything in a way uh, it's supposed to be fit so and uh, let me flip the case and I'll show what uh, how it looks from the top here for illustration purposes you see that um, this grill sits on the top of the case but actual um, fun fans mounting portion of this case has a depression so fans actually sit a little bit down to the case so I have additional two three millimeters uh, between my radiator and um, and a grill so again need longer screws and um, took me a while to find it also I have this hole now which I need to fill with something else and I will think about it later and I'm not sure yet at this point um, what to put there but for now I have rod grills and fans fully installed and as I said this one one of the biggest problems for me technically to find the proper size of screws uh, to match everything and, and uh, mount it securely so it does nothing will fall down on my precious motherboard. So let's look on the tubing. That was another interesting part that I actually have a time trying to figure out and uh, cut myself a couple times uh, going through this custom hole that I have here. So let me show you what I mean. As you can see here, so I decided to have inlet and outlet for radiator on the back of the case so I can feed uh, on the closest, shortest pass to my CPU block. And as usual, I wanted to hide the tubing that goes towards my reservoir. So I needed one connection go behind of the case. And this very, very tight space, very hard to put fittings on, especially after actual radiator was already mounted. And because it was such a pain to do so, I didn't really want it to take it off, so I struggled a little bit. But what I en ended up with is a combination of two fittings. One is a 45 degree adapter and another is 90 degree compression fittings that uh, gave me proper direction for the my tube uh, and such way so I can route it uh, behind of the case. And uh, again, let me flip the case and show you from the behind to illustrate what I actually trying to achieve. So what I needed, I don't know if you can see properly, it's uh, not perfect um, viewing angle, but I wanted my fittings to look straight to this opening in the back plate of mounting plate for the motherboard so I can put my tubing through. And why I need to do so is because I want to run my tubing all the way to this cage area where my 
reservoir and pump combination will be located so I don't know how I will do it maybe like this or across it doesn't matter so I cut enough tube but I need to go all the way in this in this area and connect it so that was achieved and uh, my next step was start routing tubing between radiator and other components and again I'll flip case and I'll show you what on the other side so I needed to connect my CPU to this uh, radiator as you can see uh, this connection is uh, a little bit far away abstracted by fan so I can't really run tube like straight line here because fan is on the way uh, one of the ways that many people do is just to run like roundish loop with your tubing and uh, that might work it's not a problem but it's it's not just not my style so to speak so I like straight line like here so for this reason I need to bring fitting a little bit forward to use some spacer and uh, then I will have an opportunity to connect those things together so as you see so I use this long extender another 45 degree thing sorry right here so when I connect together I can connect both parts in a straight line and so let me screw it on and it will be easier for me okay, how it looks assembled so I have my extender going from the rod 45 degree fitting allows me straight connection to CPU inlet which also connected with 45 degree fitting so next step was to connect my CPU and my memory cooler and originally I wanted to use 290 degree fittings one connected here and other connected there but whatever combination of um, extenders I use on my CPU I can level those two up and because distance between 290 degree fittings was so short maybe like one or 1.5 centimeter of tube only I either have to level it perfectly or it doesn't work because this misalignment and such a short distance of tube just simply impossible to make connection so I decided to go a slightly different route and I think that it's actually looked better so I put 45 degree on a G, uh, sorry GPU on a memory 90 degree on top of it and that way I get enough band start looking straight to this uh, direction and from here just 45 degree fitting let me do this little straight tube which looks pretty nice another conclusion as you can see I decided finally in favor of silver fitting I don't think black looks good I tried look I don't know it's all kind of okay on a video but in person it, it look really bad so sorry guys um, of course it's all in personal opinion in my opinion doesn't look good for most of you probably it will so I just uh, do my own builds here right so I appreciate everybody everybody input but uh, I decided in favor of seal as you can see but I decided that probably going orange tube everywhere and not that a good idea so I will use uh, this orange accent in this place as uh, the same way as motherboard has different orange accents here and there I have my grills but the actual tube I will start using black so all combination I will see later because I didn't assemble it yet but again so you see this part will be black this part will be orange and I think it's really cool and with the combination of silver fittings it, it's okay so I really like it and um, I think my original problem was that I tried to make this tubing orange tubing everywhere and it didn't allow me to find good combinations that I actually feel it looks good now I'm happy so next thing is uh, pretty straightforward here I need to connect these two connections I need still to work this part out and uh, let me play with a few fittings and I come back and show you how it works the best. Okay, done with this part. Wanted originally have 45 degree of uh, GPU and 45 degree of memory. Didn't work, can't align them properly. So basically I have to shift my connection a little bit on the side and uh, what I did, I use uh, 45 degree adapter here 
and this 45 degree compression fitting there which allows me to twist it in a such way I don't know if we can show you <coughs> but basically that's give me enough flexibility because everything rotary here rotary there so you see now I have perfect straight line exactly as I want it and that's how the thing is look from the top so I have black tubing and little accent in orange my grills and uh, less visible for the motherboard now because everything is get more and more covered with stuff I definitely will use slightly different cabling I have a custom color coming this week and I show you it's really cool uh, and um, next step we'll be looking what to do how to mount reservoirs and all this uh, things on the back of the case and after that I will continue with GPUs uh, uh, to be honest, we, I didn't install second GPU block yet, so I can't progress in this part right now. The last note that I'd like to make, uh, on the back I decide that uh, LED fan is just too much, doesn't look good, so I, I decide to go with black fan. And I use a pretty special interesting model, this is actually, um, what's the name, uh, <coughs> this is... Uh, Slipstream 140. So it's a 140 millimeter fan, but it's shaped such way that it has 120 millimeter mounting holes. And for me, it's perfect because I don't have a grill which painted orange in 140 millimeter form factor. So I use powerful fan which is 140 millimeters, but I still use holes for 120, and I use my grills. And uh, so I have all three grills here, which I think look pretty neat. And uh, so basically you, if you guys have a situation when you need to mount a bigger fan with uh, higher characteristics in uh, holes that you have only 120, there is a solution there. You can, you, can, you can use it up. Make sure that you don't try to use this on a radiator also because if you can see the shape of this fan is kind of roundish. So um, you will have too much hole, so it wouldn't align perfectly on the radiator. But for the case, it's a really cool solution. All right, guys, I'm not sure. Maybe I upload this as a separate video, and we'll continue with the next. And uh, depends how much progress I will get in next um, half an hour or so.